Well, the health minister says Canadians need to focus on better palliative care before there should be talk of assisted suicide. In an interview with CBC News, Rana Ambrose admitted Canada does not offer the best care for people nearing the end of their lives. And she says fixing that should be the priority. But as Duncan McHugh tells us, people with a personal stake in the debate say it doesn't have to be one or the other. She loved to ski and play tennis, but that ended when she was diagnosed with MS. Now Linda Jarrett wants the right to choose when she dies. It's just a very personal feeling about wanting to live with dignity as long as I can and then to have the right to say enough is enough. But the federal government has no plans to legalize assisted suicide, according to Rana Ambrose, who says Canada needs better palliative care. Let's talk about making sure that we have the best end-of-life care before we start talking about assisted suicide or euthanasia. The Minister of Health says her grandma had really good palliative care and that made all the difference to her family. Still, fewer than 30% of Canadians have access to hospital palliative and end-of-life care like this. Dying of cancer, Ian Montserrat considers himself lucky to have found a bed here. His wife was at wit's end, unable to care for him. If other people didn't have access to the palliative care and they would just be staying at home and all that happening to them, it, was, it wouldn't be very nice. This palliative doctor says the minister needs to back up her words with a national palliative strategy plus funding to run it. Today, the minister had neither. It's urgent. It's, a, it's yesterday's problem. We should have dealt with this a long time before. And it does in some way uh, fire the ongoing talk about physician-assisted dying because people are still experiencing poor quality deaths. Indeed, the debate isn't going away with Gloria Taylor's plea for her right to die winding through the courts. Quebec pushing forward with its law to allow medical aid in dying. As we're living longer. Our society is living longer. So again, I, for me, it gets back to my original point, palliative care. But that's no comfort to Linda Jarrett. I don't want to be in a long-term care facility where my granddaughter's are sort of being yanked to go and visit their grandmother. If Parliament won't change the law, she says she hopes courts will. The Supreme Court of Canada hears Gloria Taylor's case next month. Duncan McHugh, CBC News, Vancouver.